What we have been saying for the last year is start thinking about how you, as a communication service provider, can use AI to bring value to the communication services that you're bringing to your customers. Where are we in the journey uh, for service providers? Service providers are, to a large degree, running on infrastructure that's been in their network for dozens of years. And that infrastructure is just not able to be plugged into AI. We can put new modern elements into their core network that we can use to then plumb in, plumb in AI capabilities. So that's that's one option using the uh, the network function components that we acquired uh, when we bought Metaswitch earlier in the year. Or we can bring all of the services of the telecommunications network from the service provider onto our cloud. So our business, when you get right down to it, is all about modernizing service provider communications networks so that they can, A, operate more efficiently and then deliver more value-added services to their customers in order to drive more revenue. Are they still in reactive mode to AI? Are they actually making money from it yet? They are absolutely not making money off of it yet. They're basically looking at AI as a cost reduction technology, right? Using AI to reduce the number of, of humans that they need to uh, employ to operate the network. So that's use case number one on the efficiency side. They're also obviously employing AI for customer service use cases, right? Inbound calls, instead of going to the expensive human call center, it's going to AI uh, agents. What we have been saying for the last year is start thinking about how you, as a communication service provider, can use AI to bring value to the communication services that you're bringing to your customers. So instead of just delivering a SIP trunk and some dial tone and maybe some cloud PBX, think about how you're gonna bring real business value to those communication services using AI. You're talking about the age old conundrum for service providers, which it's a riddle which they haven't managed to solve uh, in the last uh, 10 years, which is do you focus on saving money or do you focus on making money? And clearly, they need to do both, obviously. You're in the vanguard of solving that riddle. Uh, and I think it's very exciting. I'm you know, looking forward to hearing more about it. Thank, thank you so much for, for sharing this today. It's a really interesting conversation. Always a pleasure. And when uh, you get back to London, give me a call. Uh, we'll grab a bite.